Hello friends. So today we are going to see the experiment on super heterodyne receiver. So this is the kit as you can see. So this kit is divided into three parts. Over here we have the signal generator. This is the AM section where we will generate the AM and this is the super heterodyne receiver part. So we are going to study two characteristics. One is the sensitivity and second is the fidelity. So let's go through with the procedure for sensitivity. So first we will be seeing the output of signal generator. We will be adjusting the modulating signal to be 400 Hertz and 1 volt peak to peak amplitude. We have a DSO with us and over here this is the output of the modulating signal. We will attach this to channel 1 as you can see of the DSO. And if we will measure the modulating signal, we will see that now we are getting a frequency of 660 something hertz. We will reduce it to get about approximately 400 hertz of frequency. So here it is. And uh, we will also adjust the amplitude to 1 volt peak to peak. So here is it, we are having the modulating signal. Okay, next we will be checking the carrier signal. We will adjust the carrier signal in the range of AM as you know which is about greater than 535 kilohertz. We will adjust it to about 625 kilohertz in the beginning. So we will go in the measure. And now it's about 620 kilohertz, so that's perfectly fine. Okay, so now that we have generated and adjusted the carrier signal, now we'll generate the AM signal. So this can be done by connecting the output of signal generator, that is this pin, to the input of AM signal input. So now we can observe on the CRO that we get an AM signal. Now care needs to be taken that the modulation index of this signal is 30%. So this modulation index can be changed by using a DC bias adjust pay, uh, knob over here. So when we change the DC bias we can see we can vary the modulation index. So this is 100% modulation over modulation and now we approximately adjust it to about 30% modulation. So that's it we have generated the AM signal. So now the next part in the circuit comes is the res receiver part. So the output of the AM we give to the super heterodyne receiver input. So you can see the pin over here, super heterodyne input. So this is the input to it. And at the output of the super heterodyne receiver, the output we connect it to the CRO. We have to tune this to get standard maximum voltage so you can see this we have to adjust this knob given over here you can see the output is very low and it suddenly it will rise So you can see that to this, it is approximately maximum and as we move away from it, it goes on reducing. So we can say that now we have tuned the circuit, we have tuned the receiver to it. Now what we have to do is we, have, we want a standard output that is 50 milliwatt which is used for measuring the sensitivity. As per the definition of sensitivity which states that it is the input required to the receiver to get a standard output of 50 milliwatt. So 50 milliwatt in our circuit corresponds to 1.78 volt of the output voltage. So we will observe this output voltage now on a DSO and we will adjust it to 1.78 volts. So we will switch to a DSO now. Okay. So on connecting it to the DSO, we see that the peak to peak voltage, output voltage is 3.4 volt or 3.5 volt. Now we are going to reduce this voltage to 1.78 volt. 
So for reducing this, we have been given this AM strength adjustment knob as you can see it over here. So initially we have kept it to maximum position and now use, reducing it, we will be adjusting this to 1.78 volt. So reducing it slowly, approximately it is 1.78. So you can see it 1.78 volts. So now that we have adjusted it to 1.7 volts, we are going to measure the input to the receiver which was required to get this output of 1.78 volts. So again the output now we are going to connect to the DSO is the input to the receiver that is the output of AM signal. So as you can see this is the AM signal which was required to produce a standard output of 1.7 volt which is equivalent to 50 milliwatts of power. So when we will go in measure and as you can see channel 1 peak to peak reads about 248 millivolts. So this is the sensitivity of the receiver for 625 kilohertz of frequency. Now we will keep on changing the free carrier frequency by keeping the modulating frequency constant to be 400 hertz. We will repeat the same procedure by increasing the carrier frequency to about 700 kilohertz, 800 kilohertz and then again reduce it till uh, in the standard range of AM and finally we will plot a graph for sensitivity. Thank you. Hello friends, today we will be learning about the property of fidelity of a super heterodyne receiver. So, what is fidelity? Fidelity is the property of a superheterodyne receiver to fit faithfully regenerate a modulating signal over a range of frequencies. Initially, we check the carrier frequency for, uh, for what we have uh, input. We preset the carrier frequency to about 625 kHz. Using the carrier frequency adjustment knob, we can change the carrier frequency. This is the uh, carrier frequency course adjustment and there is a fine adjustment knob as well. After we have set this frequency to about 625 kHz, we apply the modulating signal to the AM generator. After that, the AM generator output is connected to the super heterodyne receiver's input. And we take uh, the output from the uh, uh, output port of the uh, super heterodyne receiver. We compare the output of the super heterodyne receiver with the modulating input. As you can see, uh, the yellow channel is the modulating input and uh, this channel is our uh, output of the receiver. We can tune the output of the receiver by changing the tuning gang. This, this is used to tune uh, our uh, super heterodyne receiver to the carrier frequency. At one point, we will get uh, a proper sine wave is reproduced at the output of the super heterodyne receiver. That is when we start measuring our uh, observations. For, for uh, taking observations, we change the frequency of the modulating input and therefore check the amplitude of the uh, output of the super heterodyne receiver. As for example now, our uh, modulating input frequency is uh, channel 1 frequency which is one, 156 Hz and the output of channel 2 that is the uh, Super heterodyne receiver's output vo voltage is around uh, 580 millivolts. That is how uh, we can change the modulating frequency and take uh, various readings. Suppose I change uh, my modulating frequency to about 350 hertz, the uh, output of the uh, super heterodyne receiver, the voltage changes to about 600 to 700 millivolts peak to peak.
so this is how we can take various observations and we can plot a graph as well uh, over a range of frequencies it will faithfully uh, reproduce the modulating uh, input that you have given thank you and thanks for watching